Martin, a very big game in store today, which you will be commentating on. How much are you looking forward to this one? I've been looking forward to it since the moment you were all celebrating down here. Uh, the most amazing uh, end to a fairy story that brought Bournemouth into this level of football. It's, it's just incredible. Um, most of the games that I've watched down here have been in the lower divisions. And the one previous game I commentated on was in the old third division um, uh, 40 years ago this year. <laughs> so I was due back to come back with a microphone. And, and today, well, it, it's, it's really exciting, even for an old git like me. It's, re <laughs> it's really exciting to be here. And, and yeah, I hope both teams do themselves justice. That's what I always say. You know. This wasn't. The, this isn't the first Bournemouth game you commented on the season. It was Southampton, not such a favourable yeah. result. But you have been down to training a few times. Eddie's invited you down, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm very lucky. Uh, apart from commentating, I do a bit of coaching myself. I'm an assistant manager of a club in the Ryman League, and it's always fascinating. I'm, I'm not the greatest coach, but I actually have access to the greatest coaches. So if I get the chance to come and learn and see what the, they do, and it was, I was here on Tuesday. It was a fascinating morning. Um, watching the, not just the physical preparations, not just the specific preparations for this game, but the general way that, that Bournemouth um, prepare their players and the kind of challenges you, f you face if you come to play for Eddie Howe. And they're mental as well as physical, and there's a lot of quick thinking involved. The players are certainly sharpened up in, in that respect, not just the, the speed that we all know about and the ground that they've covered. There's a lot of fitness work involved as well, but in a very integrated way. And, and the players were really challenged the whole of the session. And I was challenged keeping up with it, but it was, uh, it was a privilege to be able to watch it. What have you made to Bournemouth's start to the season, and what do you expect from today's game? Well, I've learnt not to expect anything really because I think you want to come here with a blank sheet of paper as a commentator and let the game unfold and not have any preconceptions about it. And there are obviously plenty of preconceptions about the difference in the league table between the two, but the fact that, that uh, Bournemouth have won at Chelsea, which is a fantastic result, best. I agree with what Eddie said. Um, and I was delighted that you yourself found Harry Redknapp agreeing with it when you interviewed him earlier this week, who was the manager of the previous best result, I think, that um, Bournemouth ever had in, in 1984. Uh, and obviously the other side of it is Manchester United out of the Champions League. Will they be a wounded animal? Um, they're not scoring so many goals. A bit of criticism about the way they're playing, but they're looking, as Eddie's pointed out himself, they're looking very good in the league this season in terms of results. And... Uh, anybody knows in football that it's a results business so that should not be taken lightly but I'd prefer just to you know those things will be right in the back of my mind and I might have to respond to some of those points but the truth is you want to let the game speak for itself and looking here beautiful pitch atmospheric stadium and so bring it on.